Hey guys, so in between the episodes I just bought a little iron farm like the one we had in our old hardcore world just so I can start getting some iron and I've got a, this shulker box loader designed by yeah, Shulkercraft. I mean, um, not loader, um, Dismonter has 64 furnaces. So, um, and we need a lot of smooth stuff. So I think I'm going to build this. And build it, everything here, then we can start with the, uh, you know, start smelting stuff now. So for the rails, let me just see. Yeah, so it's mainly expensive rails. <laughs> so I'm going to use a rail duper. And for the fuel, because I don't have tons of fuel that I can burn, I'm just going to add a carpet duper. I'll make a tall, like, towers of chests and that. So yeah, I'm going to gather the resources and then start building. Guys, so I got the resources for it. And in the shop box is a lot of the resources. I did long mining trip just for the redstone. The rails, I built a rail duper because I'm not making all of that. So I'm going to start working on this. Doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. And at least I've got. Actually, wait. Let me just check something. So if I did this. Just broke the wall. I believe I should be able to break the ice and. Yeah. Perfect. Because then I can just fold the water back up and when it snows again, we get rain. This is definitely the superior way to do stuff. So the farm I think I showed, but yeah, I mean the duper. So here is where your fuel goes. Then I'm gonna build a few double chests. I'll, on one of the chests I'll make a switch if it's like If it gets less than like a certain amount, then the dupe will turn on. Then over here is your output chest, your input chest. So here, chop me my god loaders and there you go around and then follow up, back. Then, this is your input. So over here okay, is where your mind cards are. So it detects when there's something in the chest. They go up, they get blocked, and they get 32 items each, and then it splits into each furnace gets one. Then all of the loot goes into here. So, because for the big iron farm and the, um, some other farms I use smooth stone, so you need to have stone, and then you go smart it down again. So yeah, I'm gonna build this and see the final results. Welcome back to another video. So, it's been a while, cause actually, I informed just took forever, that thing. But, I kind of wanna build that, the other I farm, the one behind it in the I mean, in this episode, as a second farm. Because right now, we've got wood, honey, iron, and now we've got a smelter. So I just made like a small stone farm, like very manual, and I'll try and automate a bit away, just so I can get smooth stone going. So, I mean, phantoms, go away, go away. So I'm duping carpet to fuel this. So there's a 
leave it there to switch off it hasn't filled up yet there's a lot of chests here then when the minecart over here reaches full capacity it tells that repeater oh it's full which broke right now i'll fix that um then we'll go out giving carpets and then this one i'll just grab a whole bunch of stone we'll pick it up and we'll let the mine carts in and let them go and then that fuels the furnaces and yeah so okay. so in between episodes what i th what i'll do um just wait no episodes sorry. between well I'm gonna have a little break just so I can not like, but what am I saying? So I'm gonna finish the you can just mine a whole bunch of stone because and get some resources because that thing down there needs about 52-ish stacks of stone and I do that because I need that a little bit we did build this in a wait no we haven't built this yet in this world yeah or in hardcore series I've built it on my own personal world to pick it up so then I'll, I'll click that water buckets I just I got a whole bunch of ice which I can use in the fences, I'll make a spruce fence, I've got a farm for that, I'll see, might make a walk fence gate farm, and actually before we build the big farm, we should build the duper, the sand and concrete duper, and then the other side of it, so then we're gonna use this concrete farm, which needs a whole bunch of materials, and basically you can change its mode between concrete and sand so if you just do sand you can put sand in and it'll dupe it and then break and go into a chest where the other one it only works with concrete so sand breaks the farm but then you turn the concrete mode on and it put, shoots it into water a water stream which pushes it and then blows it up like normal concrete dupers in the sand duper you use the end portal basically by having falling entities going next to it it thinks it's going into the portal but we pull it away quick enough so i've got all the honey blocks and so I'll just make a few things yeah then as you can see here we can have a whole bunch of concrete and that but for now, I'll probably just use sand. Yeah, so here you can see yeah. these minecarts work. Yeah, I'm gonna take some resources for those and then we can carry on. Let's get into that. So after a little bit of time, I should get the resources for this duper. And in order to use it properly, you need a chunk loader so I'm just gonna build this real quick it's quite simple just a whole bunch of things like this and what I like is right now I can just replace these blocks yeah and there we are So then, oh yeah, if you don't know how to make one of them, you're going to have to, or if you've got the blueprint and you don't know how to use it, press F3 and look at where you'll find your X, Y, Z coordinates, then there's block, chunk, then face it. It's where you're facing, so I'm facing north. 
even if you want you can throw an item through and just fill up your inventory if you go through the item pops out here so then when you build it you have to build it going that way shooting out there so the item comes back here if we let me quickly set it up and then we build the actual machine so we have finally completed it and as you see this thing just being sh shot out the dispenser in the dropper and then goes to the other side where it's picked up by the hoppers sent back using the same mechanism it continues and this means that this chunk and the nether chunk will I'm not sure if it's just this chunk or if it's this chunk and that chunk we'll see oh that, that's not going to be fun to find out the whole farm breaks yeah so let's just grab the materials then I guess the farm doesn't seem too complicated but it's still a little bit complicated then yeah <coughs> this is like we everything comes in so I'm just gonna... yeah so let's start building it and then you guys can see what it looks like once we're done so oh, right there. I finished it Let me just get rid of the schematic and I I actually just venture around for half an hour collecting all the dyes just to get the concrete down but now how it works is just want to double check are you still hello there we are happen again yes okay so now that's running so if we we gotta be quick switch that on oops okay. I did not expect it to go that fast <laughs> turn it on and then we gotta get in. No, oh, yes. Oh. As you can see, everything's being spread out now. The legs hitting quite a bit. If I check in this chest, yes, it is filling up with things. So, I mean, I think we have enough to start on building our base. We don't need that giant iron farm. This, if we need like a concrete for things, then we'll build the, um, this concrete farm, which works with the stupa. Yeah, look at all of this. Wow. Not too much lag, which is nice. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. Today we duped a whole bunch of items. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will start on our base. Let's go.